Okay, so hopefully you've watched the first video, and this is the video which is going to take you through how to draw the break-even chart. So if you look at the bottom, you'll see the axes. Um, along the bottom, you have the units, and going up on the y-axis, you have the pounds. Um, it's just when you draw your break-even charts, you go across every two squares to make your chart large as possible. Okay, the first line we're going to draw on is the fixed cost line. In the question, the fixed costs were £200, so because fixed costs never change, and within a certain range, I should say, you're just going to draw a line that goes across like so. Really important in exam to label your um, lines as well because you get marks for that. The second line, I suggest you draw this line second, is the revenue line. Okay, now we worked out that 40 teddy bears, his revenue is £760, so you need to put a little dot 760 on the y axis on the left hand side, and it's 760 in relation to. 40 bears, so put a dot on the um, x axis at the bottom. Then, what you need to do is you need to draw a line, uh, draw a dot, sorry, where the two points meet. So, use your fingers to go across, don't draw these dotted lines, you don't actually need them. And where the points meet, draw a little dot. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw the revenue line through that point. And the revenue line starts from zero because think about it logically if you sell nothing, you make no revenue. So draw a line that goes through the dot and starts at zero. Done. Now once you've got that line, you're 98% there because the total cost line, the final line, essentially has to go through that same dot we drew, we drew earlier on because at the break-even point, your revenue is the same as your total cost. This time though, the um, total cost line starts not from zero, it starts from 200 because the total costs include your fixed costs, which we really have, and your variable costs. So we'll start at 200 and we'll draw a line through, again through that point, where 760 and 40 meet, and it goes like that. As you can see, the two lines, the total cost line and the revenue line, meet. And you, that point is known as the break even point. Okay, so with that point, um, you label the line, label the point, and that's pretty much all of it done. What we need to do now is you can use it to read off your chart. So, for example, this is the profit area, the area above the break even point is known as the profit area, and the area below is known as the loss area. So, for example, you can read off the chart. So, if I say to you, What's the profit from selling 60 teddy bears? Okay, you need to draw a line that goes from 60 but just in that profit area and if you count the number of little squares in there you'll find there should be 10 lines within that section now looking at our graph, our scale, we went from 0 to 100 and there are 10 little lines in there that means that every line is worth 10 pounds so 10 lines times 10 will show you there's a 100 pounds profit if he sells um, 60 teddy bears. You can do the same for the losses. If you sell 10 teddy bears, what's well below the break even point, so we know it's a loss. Draw the same line, ignore that fixed cost line. There'll be 50 lines, hopefully, in there. Times 10 gives you a loss of £150. And that's essentially how you draw the break even chart. Done.